So what we have here is a wavefront sensor. Uh, it's used uh, to measure the wavefronts, optical wavefronts. It can be used for optical shop testing or we use it also to drive uh, deformable mirrors. And here I have a very simple uh, demonstration setup. It's not real thing, it's just a demonstration setup. So we have a micro lens raster in front of a camera. And when we get an uh, image, then basically we, in, in the computer, we just acquire a pattern of uh, spots, like here. Now if I, uh, for instance, if I introduce aberration, which is, uh, in my case, would be just uh, uh, spectacles, I just put it uh, here in front of a uh, sensor, and I acquire the second image. Now I can process these two images and uh, see what, uh, what happens. So, you see that we have very, very little astigmatism here, and this is because we remove all the spherical part. And uh, to... Because, well, it's ignore defocus, it's, it's says ignore defocus. Uh, now it will not ignore the defocus and uh, it will tell us how many diopters. Yeah, you see, well, now it tells us that uh, I have 2.6 diopters in, uh, in my spectacles and very little astigmatism, probably just due to the tilt when I put it in, uh, in the setup, I can keep it uh, under the right angle. Uh, so, and uh, this setup can also work in uh, like in real-time alignment mode. So if I go to here, to processing, and say loop, the loop is... Uh, then it uh, shows in real-time, it shows uh, how much tip tilt, defocus, astigmatism, coma, and everything. And also in uh, polar coordinates. So I can, for instance, just to show, uh, I can misalign the system right now. So I just move one lens, and when I move this lens, I just turn this screw, look, and you see that this spot goes down because, well, we have introduced misalignment of the system, and this also this bar also goes down because, well, we introduced defocus, and this bar goes down because it's astigmatism. So, uh, basically, using this, you can very precisely align uh, optical systems and it can be also automated, like uh, not with hands, because you have too many parameters, but it can be done just uh, with uh, stepper motors or something like that.